Uh, welcome to show 190. Hello. How are you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year indeed. Yeah, you all had a good time. I uh, played fantastic 80s music all night on New Year's Eve going back to see. And uh, Chris probably changed happens. I uh, stayed up till one baby talking to my father in law. Did you? Oh, yeah. Have they gone back yet? No, no, no. Have a few weeks. I thought they were going back early January. 20th of January. Oh, okay. There you go, there you go. Anyway, we're in the shop today, as you can see. That's right. Um, we are playing tracks that you can purchase in the shop. Exactly, yeah. yeah so, yeah, it's Christmas crazy, crazy post Christmas New Year clearance sale, sale. thing. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, everything's always pretty cheap anyway, so yeah, crazy, uh, cheap. crazy cheap. But, uh, but yeah, even cheaper now. Yeah, tons of uh, 45s in stock, tons of reggae in stock, uh, tons of most things in stock actually, and um, yeah, still got a couple of those Spats um, exclusive albums as well, so you really need to get a couple of those uh, if you need. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so what's this anyway? Starting? This is Mallow, right? And this is from the album Ascension. And this track is called Latin Woman. Very nice it is as well. Latin woman. Yeah. 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 Nice bit of Latin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've got yeah an eclectic mix of stuff that you can buy today. As uh, ever. As ever. Um, I don't know if we've got much to talk about because I've really spoken to them. So uh, busy. We had a few people in. I tell you that this morning, this morning Mo Fingers was in. Really? Mo Fingers and um, uh, Mr. Brown, obviously, uh, shed friend, uh, shed shop friend, should I say? Yeah, he was in. Um, yeah, Mark C, Mark Courtney was in uh, a couple of days ago as well. It's almost like a Dilla Soul break, isn't it? It's quite a nice little thing. Yeah. Anyway, this is. Uh, I'll be back up on my feet. From the birds, the bees, and the monkeys. Which you must pop up on an album somewhere, other than this one. This isn't. This is a comp, no. No. Okay. So that's why that's that, that's why I think it's only on this. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Obviously you've got your Mary Mary and all that sort of stuff, but this yeah, one I quite yeah. like. I like the monkeys, as I said earlier, yeah. they're the best prefabricated band ever. Uh, yeah, and I used to love the show. I loved the, the show. The show was brilliant. I loved That's the right. show. I watched it as a child and I watched it as a teenager when it was on High Network. There you go, there you go. Yeah. yeah. In little five minute bits. Yeah, exactly, yeah. No, yeah brilliant. Fine. Keep you watching. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, what will the monkeys get up to next? I'll let you keep watching. I know. What will keep me up throughout the night? <laughs> the monkeys keep Brad up. Yeah. Baby Jones. Yeah. Yes, please. That's right, yeah. Zombies have a quite a serious following. When yeah. I, spoke, I spoke to zombies fans before, they're like hardcore. Hardcore zombies, eh? Hardcore zombies. Yeah, anyway, this is uh, Leave Me Be, this track, and it's a B side, but you can get it cheaply on this uh, Rock Roots for Zombies album. It's great. I love the zombies, I think they're great. He's got a great voice, Colin Blunt's name as well, so here you go. He says the same about you, Chris. Well, he, and he ain't wrong. No, it's broken. It just needs a bit of Pritstick. It does, it needs a bit of Pritstick. Me and Mr. Brown were talking the other day, and if you're out there, if you ever put any tape on your seats like that, no. I'll do it. It ruins them. Pritstick. Pritstick's the way to go. There you go. If you've got a baggy opening, use Pritstick. Yeah, yeah. Quite a few people of our age have got baggy openings, don't they? I mean, it's fine. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. Pretty stick there. Yeah, yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we could. Yeah, next time we got Betty Ryan. Yeah. yeah. Betty's getting funky. Betty is getting funky. That's fine. And then there you go. It's from this album. You see it. Clean up. Uh, exactly. Oh, including yeah. Clean Up Woman as well. This album. I love the way you love. And this track is All Your Kisses Show Don't Make True Loving. And it's true, that. Show true. So show true. Yeah, there's, I've got a couple of lovely 45s, mate. Uh, but anyway, the yeah. clean up woman herself. That's right. That's very obvious one. Much more than that. But um, this is lovely. I've not heard this before today. It's very nice indeed, yeah. Maybe there's a couple on here. Shop. There's a couple on here, I think, by Milton Light as well. I think. Could be wrong. Anyway, love me out of this. Yeah, I'm sure there must be some other things. That's the thing, the last couple of weeks has just been mince pies, turkey, 
day sort of swim into each other and stuff like that. Busy, busy. It feels like it's been like a, a month of months, every day or that. Certainly, certainly, yes, certainly, yes. I'm sure we've got lots of stuff coming up in, the, in this new year as well. We're still working on our. Yeah, we're still working on it. We've got to go over and see it. We have got to go over and see it. Yeah. Justice. That's right, that's right. Give my cuddle. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. We should be down so we need a little bit of cheering up some disco. Yeah, we do. For Chris, nothing puts a smile on his face or some pep in his step like a bit of disco. It's totally true. It's totally true. Can't help myself, I have to say. I do love a bit of disco. Shimmying down the road. And this is great. This is uh, Casanova by Coffee. And uh, yeah, I love this one. I love this one. It's great. It's a great tune, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Uh, but it would be easy to pick up, but. It is, it's nice to come here and get it here. How's that later, Chris? He'll show you his favourite dance moves to it. In this shop, nothing, nothing is sacred, you know what I mean? So there you go. I do dance for customers. So. Any New Year's resolutions, Chris? Uh, probably lose the huge tyre around my waist that's been uh, inflicted upon me these last three months. But, um, the three months getting your beach body ready. Exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You should probably bring out like a James Bond workout tape, but like disco. Chris's disco, <laughs> disco workout, exactly. Yeah, that'd be good enough by that. Yeah, well, we've got little people in the background, me with a headband on, in the shop. That's right. The Afghani guy who sells right to opposite, he's, he's going to be in the background. Yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. 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 Right. 16 is a year of promise. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely track, yeah. Wicked tune, yeah. Lovely track. That's right. And, uh, Following that up, we've got an interesting piece that Chris dug out on the shelf. Well, you know, back in the sort of mid to late 90s, everything went a bit breakbeat and big beat and stuff like that. But it was, well, some of it was alright, and some of it was uh, obviously very hip hop influenced. Uh, so, yeah, I found this album down there somewhere in the book. And uh, yeah, it's alright, and I remember getting it when it came out. So, uh, yeah, let's have a listen to a bit of Jay Dell. Yeah, back in the 90s when no sample was off limits, uh, you could pretty much nick anything and make your own tune out of it, which is what Jay Dell did, and what a lot of other people did, even I did. Um, yeah, not bad. This is a, a nod to the electro sort of classics of yesteryear, as you can tell. Yeah, it's, good. it's pretty good actually. Um, I remember getting this album because it had that track compared to what on it, and uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, a million covers of compared to what? Yeah. That's quite a good one. Not bad at all. Double album. A double album, that's right. With the ladies swinging golf clubs on the back. Yeah, it's a bit sexist. But, uh, I like to think it's quality. Yeah, that's right. That golf club, yeah, it's the ladies in coming. That's right, wearing a pair of shell tops and some Farrah slacks. There you go. Yeah. Are you saying he's a house DJ now or something? I've got Possibly. a feeling that he is, yeah, yeah. he went on... Seems, seems to have gone off the radar, so... I don't think he has, I think, I think he does under a different name. Or, you know, yeah. I don't know the versions or the different connotations and dramas of house. Nah! So I just lump it all in together. Get the ass! Ass! ass. ass. Diamond D, exactly, yeah. Best kept secret. Lovely. There you go. In the shop if you ever want to pop in and grab a copy if you never got around to getting it in the first place, which I'm sure everyone did. I love with lots of other quality hip hop. There's a ton of hip hop, yeah. They come with a cuddle. That's right. With a leg rub. Unless you're a little bit scabby. Yeah, you did get a few of those in here, I have to say. You know, yeah. Yeah. you got to stand on the way up to bed like that sort of game. Some bloke came in here the other day and actually bought me a radio. I was going to think you were saying radio, No, a radio. He goes, just in case you want to listen to a radio show. I, I thought of you, um, and I like this radio show, so I bought you a radio. Thank you so much. It was very nice of him. There you go. What do you want? Huh? What do you want? Bojo. <laughs> nah.
<laughs> no, no. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I ran with the radio. I sold it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, yeah. anyway, there you go. I've got a diamond D for you. We got a little bit of Ray Williams. We have, yeah, you know, uh, There's a, a, a fella that I go and pick up records from. It's, it's all very sort of like cloak and dagger. I have to drive up, up the motorway to visit him after he's driven up the motorway to get some records of somebody else. And uh, so I get quite a lot of stuff off of him. And this looks pretty terrible. Ray Williams. Uh, it's been a long time. But I remember I had a 12 off of this guy at the Cosmopolitan London. So I knew that there was something on it. Beats. Some nice beats on this. So let's go around break of the week. There you go. Yeah, that's a break. That's a good break. Nice break. Yeah. This guy can't sing for shit, I have to say. But um it doesn't matter because this is doesn't matter because the packing stuff is funky as hell. I think some of it goes under Cosmic or whatever, and uh, actually the track Cosmopolitan in London is pretty damn good. But this is lovely, there's loads of bits on this. Maria See what I mean? <laughs> Thank you for coming to see the Ray Williams show. <laughs> I'm going to get beaten up this week, you know. <laughs> Ray, Ray Williams and Jay Dell on the door. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, there you go. Is someone coming in the kitchen? <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so nice break though. And there's a few other bits and uh, bobs on this nice as well. Nice track on it, actually. Yeah, 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 it's not bad. Not bad at all. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Obviously, Chris Rock is like 51 now. 50, 51. Cripes alive. Crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Funny dude, though. Yeah, funny dude. Mm. Funny look. Yeah, so it's obviously supposed to be like called you rap, talk like sex. Um, wicked, I love this one. I'm gonna have to watch it, I think, tonight. Yeah, I used to, you know, I've watched it quite a few times, and it's quite funny because back in the day we used to do the shop at Show in the Shed, which we will do again very soon. Um, it used to be on the side always a DVD. Yeah, it did, yeah, still there, I think. Yeah, I don't know why we ever thought let's play something from the soundtrack. Yeah. Better late than never. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we will be back in the shed at some point. It's just full of shit at the moment. So physical shit, literally. Physical shit. Yeah. So yeah. Sometimes if I just go down there for a shit. <laughs> exactly. A little bit of a dirty protest going on in there. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah. You want to see the state of your shell time? Oh. Well, I'm ashamed of the way you're playing. And we yeah. Eddie Murphy's brother, isn't it? Yeah. Weirdly enough. I was only reading about Eddie Murphy's brother last night. Charlie. Charlie Murphy. Only last night. Charlie, I was reading the interview with Charlie Murphy. Only last night. Because the thing is, he's in Menace to Society as well. He did a few things. Yeah. He's at the beginning of the rule. He is. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's talk again of Eddie Murphy going on the road and doing a stand up thing. Oh, that'd be great. been talking about it for about yeah. eight years. So, uh, sweat from the bar. And, um, but it, it, what he was talking about was what he was going to do was he's going to come out and pretend to be Charlie Murphy ah. and then just do the gig. And it wasn't so. Uh, uh, well, there you go. Well, it would be nice to see, wouldn't it? Would be, uh, would be. I'd definitely get to see him. Anyway, that's it from us this week. Uh, yeah. yeah, Happy New Year again, and uh, see you next week. Yeah, mate. Bye. Prosperous year for you. Yeah, let's hope so. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Bye bye.